fellow fluid art and Dutch pour artists. My name's Dawn and welcome to my channel. I recently did a video and a three-piece triptych for my daughter. It was called Brilliant Blue Obsessions and we since then have put it on her wall in a house that she's renting over, uh, she's going to college, and her roommate's grandparents were visiting and they loved it which was great I was excited and her grandmother wanted something similar with three different colors in the background and she really wants black and white and red and then she wanted two 12 by 24 canvases so we talked and figured out what she was going for and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Red, which is actually I chose permanent alizarin crimson from Windsor and Newton for the top base. In the middle section, we're going to do just that acrylic flow paint from Artist Loft. And then at the bottom, we're going to have the black flow Artist Loft paint as well. The strips of color we chose to go in between the red at the top and the white in the center and then the strips of paint that are going to go between the white and the bottom color, which is the black, we chose five different colors for those strips. And we're going to start with ivory black from Artist Loft. I'm going to go ahead and use the two paint and put another strip over the top. Since that paint is different, I felt, than my acrylic flow paint. So just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and do a strip of that. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to go next with permanent alizarin crimson, which was from Windsor and Newton, which is the base paint at the top anyway. And then I'm going to go with metallic white from Artist Loft, help give it a little bit of pop and sheen. Then I'm going to go with a little bit deeper red. It's cadmium red deep hue uh, by Liquitex Basics. I really like this color. I've used it before. And again, I need a little bit of contrast, a lighter and a darker. And then I'm going to top it off with sterling silver from Deco Art. It's the Americana uh, line. So those are the five colors we're going to use for the strips before we blow it out. When I come back, I'll have the canvases all prepped. I'll have the background colors ready to go. And we'll start creating. All right, everyone, I'm back. I have my canvases flooded and I have them facing me. So, of course, the reds at the top white in the center, and black at the bottom. So let's go ahead and start laying strips of paint. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Ivory Black by Artist Loft. Next up's Permanent Alizarin Crimson by Windsor and Newton. Next up, we're going to lay a strip of metallic white. We're going to give it just a little bit more shimmer. Next strip, Cadmium Red by, it's a Cadmium Red Deep Hue, excuse me, by Liquitex Basics. And last, we're going to top it off with Sterling Silver by Deco Art. I'm going to go ahead and pop the air bubbles. And we're going to go ahead and blow this out. I love how this came out. It looks awesome. Ooh, and I like how I'm getting all these really cool like lacing with that metallic white that I chose. Loving that. I've got lots of cells going on. Woohoo! They're looking good. 
And I love the red I picked. Like the background red couldn't have been more perfect. I just wasn't sure like how this would come out. I didn't know, hey, should I try gray in the background? But I love the red. I love that I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges, the sides, and then bring you back for a closer look. See you back in a bit. All right, everyone, here's the finished pieces. They look so great, I'm excited. I'll bring you down, it's kind of hard. I needed a ladder to actually get both of them in. But I am very happy, wow, really happy with how these came out. I just love that black background. Sorry for the glare. Back it out a little bit again. And over to the next piece. So if you like what you've seen today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my channel uh, subscribers up, so I'd love it if you could help me out with that. And hey, don't forget about the comments. Let me know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching.